In this episode, we'll learn about look file nodes. Look files are used to easily share, version, and iterate parts of your work. One great example for showcasing the use of this node is for baking and exporting look development on an asset. This means that a look development artist can work on their own scenes, bake out their work on that asset, and hand it over to the lighting artist. I'll show you how this is done. Create a look file bake node. I've quickly set up a shader for the table using a network material create node, available in Katana 3.2. In comparison to the network material, the main difference is the interface, but the same shading nodes are still being used. You can refer to the Foundry Learn page to find existing documentation for this workflow, and the network material creates series. Once you've assigned this material to our geometry, we'll go through the process of creating a look file. This node takes in two inputs, an origin and a default. So this node calculates the difference in the node graph between these two points. We'll place the path for the table in the root locations parameter, drag the orig to a point after the scene imports, and the default to a point after the material sign node. Now the difference between these two points is the material creation and assigning for the table location. In the save to parameter, save out your look file to a place that makes sense. Since the look development on the table will stay consistent across our entire show, we'll write this in the assets directory corresponding to the table and in the look file folder. Again, we'll set it to a relative path and select write look file. We can now remove the table material and assign so it no longer exists in the scenes node graph. Create a look file assign and look file resolve to apply the look file we've just created. In the look file assign parameter, drag in the path of the object you want to apply it to and the folder location of the file we just created. The look development we've baked out will be referenced into the scene and applied. Skipping ahead, I've now applied the look development on the entire scene through look files. In a studio setting, this would have come from the look development department. This is really useful for versioning your work on assets and can be applied for different uses, such as writing out lights and other parts of the node graph. Going along the same theme of transferring and versioning work easily, we'll cover the use of live groups in the next episode.